Today, I will be living like Andrew Huberman. For those of you who don't know who Andrew Huberman is, he is a neuroscientist and a professor in medicine and biology at Stanford University. He basically helps people optimize in sleep, focus, productivity, health, fitness, anything, you name it. Overall, he's just a gigantic, strong, fit, genius man. I will be trying to follow his daily routine to a T. His daily routine is broken up into three parts. Part one is the morning from 6.30 to about 12. Part two is the afternoon from 12 to around 5. And part three is the evening from 5 to about 10.30. And every little thing he does is for health for your maximum health and benefit and productivity. There's a, literally a reason for about every single thing he does. So let's begin. To start off his morning, he wakes up at around 6.30 a.m. This might sound weird, but immediately after waking up, he drinks salt water. Salt water just basically replenishes all of your electrolytes that you lost while sleeping. He drinks a whole bunch of water and salt when he wakes up. Tasty salty. Going to drink pretty much like all of this because he drinks a lot of water when he wakes up before we move on to the next thing. Is he does 10 minute yoga nidra, I think is what it's called, to reset your nervous system. There's no actual studies and proven facts on this, but Andrew Huberman swears by it that yoga in the morning feels like it adds a whole extra six hours to your sleep. And exhale, letting go. I was expecting to feel amazing after that, but I just feel tired all over again. Mike was literally sleeping. Mm -mm. Some people might not know this, but I have been doing cold showers every single day for over a year. And that was because of Andrew Huberman. He makes it very clear that cold showers slash cold exposure is very good for your health. Cold exposure helps with increased energy, focus, mood, resilience, metabolism, physical recovery, and a stronger mind-body connection. He recommends from about two to six minutes in a cold shower. It's currently four degrees here, and we're about to do a 10 minute walk outside. Andrew Huberman makes it very clear in a lot of his podcasts and videos that getting sunlight first thing in the morning is so important for you. He says, in quotes, the single best thing you can do for your sleep, your energy, your mood, your wakefulness, your metabolism is to get natural light in your eyes early in the day. This also helps with a good circadian rhythm. For example, a bad circadian rhythm leads to extreme daytime sleepiness decreased alertness, and problems with memory and decision. 10 minutes later, we're back at the house. I actually kind of enjoyed that. We've changed and now we are going to the gym. This is where he weight lifts. He, do he does weightlifting in the morning. He does about 45 to 60 minutes. He says that he likes to weight train in the morning because it's more demanding and it's just a good start to your day. Typically in the beginning of the week, he says he does legs to get the biggest muscle group out of the way, but here I am doing back and biceps. We are back from the gym and now we are going to eat breakfast. For breakfast, he says that he eats protein and carbs. So that's what we're going to eat. Let's get some breakfast because I'm so freaking hungry. Okay, this is what we have for breakfast. For the carbs, we have a bagel with cream cheese and jelly. And then three fried eggs and chicken for the protein. So we haven't been on our phone at all today. This is where he gets on his phone. All right, so we're still in the morning part of the day. And now we're going to be doing his famous work blocks. He has two work blocks throughout the day. One in the morning and one in like the afternoon evening-ish. And these work blocks are both 90 minutes long. The first work block, which is what I'm going to be doing now, is supposed to be the hard stuff that you get done. You get the hard stuff done first and then the second work block is more of like the creative, enjoyable stuff that you get done. So, what I'm going to be working on in this 90 minutes 
is scripture studying, reading my 10 pages of a nonfiction book, and then I'm going to be doing my rehab PT stretching mobility. And that's going to take around 90 minutes. The reason why Andrew Huberman does his work blocks in 90 minutes is because 90 minutes is the perfect ultradian cycle. An ultradian cycle is roughly the amount of time the brain can focus. After about 90 minutes, your brain gets kind of sluggish and wants to do something else besides work. We have just made it to the afternoon phase. And after his 90 minutes of work block, he, he just walks around because his mind was working really hard and now he just needs a break and he just spends time walking around in his house and that's what I'm doing. But then after walking around, I'm going to do something else that he does, which is quite interesting and I'm pretty excited to try. This next thing he does is called MSDR non-sleep deep rest, which is exactly as it sounds. He's getting deep rest, but he's not sleeping. He lays in bed for about five to 15 minutes and he does sort of a meditation. He's just laying there, relaxing. This is supposedly to help decrease anxiety and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's supposed to wake you up and keep you going for the rest of the day. After I did the NSDR, I decided to do more research on it. I looked it up and it says non-sleep deep rest or NSDR for short is a method of deep relaxation. In the form of guided meditation, NSDR combines mindful breathing and body scanning to bring you into an aware yet relaxed state. I'm energized, I'm ready to go to take on the day. I actually do feel a little bit more awake. I think the NSDR did its thing. I had a six mile run planned today, and lucky for me, Andrew Huberman is also a runner. He believes in zone two training, interval training, speed work, all for good health for the human body. Six miles later, and we are done. Now it is on to the second 90 minute work block. And for this 90 minutes, I will be working on this voiceover for this YouTube video. I will also be editing reels and other YouTube videos. But it is getting dark and Andrew Huberman goes for an evening walk. So I'm gonna really quick get my shoes on and my coat and go on that walk. While the sun is setting, Andrew Huberman goes on a walk outside, like how he did in the morning, but he does it in the evening. This helps with sleep and block out any blue light that you might encounter for the rest of the day. Such a beautiful night. It's actually so peaceful, so relaxing. This is where he also has his second yet last meal. He also eats some protein and starchy carbs like rice and potatoes. The starchy carbs are supposed to help put you into a relaxed state and get you ready for bed. To get ready for bed, Andrew Huberman likes to dim the lights. So I'm just going to reduce the amount of lights I have, turn off some light switches, and I'm gonna call it good. He also, if he is doing any work on the computer or on his phone, he likes to wear blue light blocking glasses. And before he goes to bed, he reads. This puts him in a relaxed state and really helps him get ready for bed. I do this a lot in my daily routine. Reading and then going straight to bed has so many benefits to me in my personal life and I love to do it. Last but not least, he makes sure that his room is extremely dark. He has a sleep mask, which I also have one of these. I recommend that you guys get it. It's like my favorite item on the planet. And with that, that is the daily routine of Andrew Huberman. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys can take something out of this video. I know I did. I suggest that you guys go follow him on Instagram or listen to his podcast because he has some amazing things. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one. Come back next Tuesday.